AI voiceover is one of the next big things to happen in the world of video creation. So today you're gonna learn five great ways to add depth to your video using voiceover. And you'll learn how easy it is to do using Motionary's new AI voiceover, which is a feature that we just launched, but more on that a little bit later. But why wouldn't you just use your own voice? Well, that actually goes right into tip number one. One of the easiest ways to make your videos more cinematic is to give them depth. Depth of lighting, depth of color, depth of sound design, and audio as well as voice is an important part of that process. If you're the main subject of your work, like in every YouTube video, for example, and then you're also the person who narrates everything, unless you have something really specific that you're planning, it risks coming across as flat or one-dimensional because your voice is literally the only vocal dimension that we as an audience are hearing. Adding another character voice helps your video to feel bigger because you're adding more depth, contrast, and intricacy to the audio of your production. Tell me which line hits harder, my own voice? Once upon a time, in a land of wonders, or this voice. Once upon a time, in a realm of wonders, where every step leads to magic untold. Here, amidst towering mountains and cascading waterfalls, lived creatures of myths and legends. You can tell that because it's not me, the complexity of this video has increased in a good way. And it increases the perceived production value and makes everything feel bigger instantly. And adding another voice to your video is actually a prerequisite for tip number two. This is my dog, Boomer, and I wanted to create a video where I got inside his head and heard what he was saying, thinking, and feeling. That's a cool concept, but if it's me saying it, then it falls a little bit flat. Listen to what I mean. My dad says we can't go outside because it's raining. But if I generate a different voice for him, then all of a sudden... My father says I cannot go outside because it's raining. But all I want to do is run in the grass, chase squirrels, and roll around getting as muddy as possible. It hits so much better. Most people think about voiceover as only being able to be used as a third-party omniscient narrator, sort of like your own personal David Attenborough. But there's so many other applications. You can give a voice to your pet, to a plant, an inanimate object, or even a theoretical concept. It's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Time. No, not Father Time, or like a person who controls time, but the literal concept of time itself. When you expand your understanding of what a voiceover can be used for, it seems like creative possibilities open up everywhere. But one of the biggest questions about AI voiceovers is, how do I get it to sound professional? And what I mean by that is that it's a type and generate system, so how can I control exactly what end result I get? So let me show you exactly how you can refine and get nuanced results from this tool. But first things first, this is the new Motion Array voiceover feature. It's a part of our site where you can literally create your own voiceover in seconds just by typing in what you want it to say. These are all incredibly high quality voice generation models that real voice actors were paid in order to generate. So the quality is high from the start. And because there's so many, finding the right one for your project is easy, and all you have to do is select it and start typing in what you want it to say. But what happens when you want a particular feeling or emotion? Maybe you want a statement that's made less factual and made more angry. Well, you can actually just come up to this emotional filter here and select which emotion you want your voice to represent. So first I'll type what I want it to say, and then if we leave everything default and see what we get. I have a certain set of skills. Skills that make me a nightmare for people like you. It's a great voiceover, but if we wanted to make it feel angry, let's just click on this angry emotion filter. And now the result that I get is... I have a certain set of skills. Skills that make me a nightmare for people like you. I will look for you. I will find you. I will make you subscribe to Motion Array. It sounds like exactly the same person, but now the emotional resonance is what I wanted. But you can go even further with it as well. If you wanted to make your voiceover slower to give more time for each point to land, you can actually select the speed that you want your voiceover to be generated at. So now you have a lot more control over what your voiceover actually sounds like. But what happens if you have a particular word or phrase that's just not sounding exactly like you wanted? How do you get a different result? Well, just like a real voice actor, you can ask them to do another take of that line. By just leaving your text box exactly the way you had it before and clicking generate again, you'll get a new generation of that same line, but there will be subtle little nuances and differences. No two generations will actually be exactly the same. Here's an example of two different generations I made back to back with zero changes made. It's a pleasure to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you. But if you wanted some bigger and much more noticeable changes, just make some slight changes to what you're asking it to generate. If you have a big wall of text and this is the section that you want it to retry, 
just shorten it down to just that section to give it a bit of a different result. If you still can't get what you're looking for, try shortening it down to just those few words or phrases that you want it to change up. Or you can slightly edit the way that the sentence is structured to give it a different context to generate that line, which will impact the delivery of everything. You can even go as far as to generate individual words if you'd like. Once you get something that you like, you can actually really easily splice that word or section into your edit just by making sure to add a crossfade for one to two frames to ensure a smooth transition with no pops or hiccups. But there's one more tip that I have to share with you that's really gonna set your voiceovers apart from everything else. It's the cherry on top that ties everything together and really makes it hit home. And it's actually something that I've been doing this entire video already, and that's to pair your awesome voiceover with some amazing music. The point of a voiceover isn't just to convey information, but also to convey a feeling or an emotion. Emotion is the vehicle to actually get your audience to resonate with whatever it is that you're making a video about. And a great voiceover will have a particular resonance or cadence that makes you feel tranquil or at peace. Or like you're in a certain part of the world. Or like you're a tiny baby being cradled in your mother's arms. But underneath all of these is a score to also help you to emotionally feel that same way. By having multiple cues or signals telling your audience how you want them to feel, the type of voice, the visuals that you show, and the music underneath it all, if it all points in a unified direction towards the same feeling, that's what's gonna give your production more cohesion and make it feel like it's working the way that you want it to. So there you have it. Those have been just a few of my tips to get amazing voiceovers in your videos using Motionary's new AI voiceover feature. And if you wanted to check it out for yourself, I've left a link to it in the description down below. And if you want even more tips to get amazing audio in your videos, check out this video right here. I'll see you over there.